Whoa, ho, ho. <laughs> Not your favourite flavour on a Friday. It's a little bit of a, a review. About five months ago, um, I got an Aklot. I came across this company called Aklot and I got myself a tenor ukulele. And if you look back in the videos, selection of videos, you'll see a review I did of that one. Now, Aklot haven't paid me. This is, I bought that. I'd seen the reviews for about a year or so and I thought, these sound too good to be true. Seen some good reviews and bought the Aklot tenor. It's, I've had a lot of ukuleles and it's by far and away the best one I've ever had. It's brilliant, electroacoustic, fantastic, check it out. And then I thought, I've got two banjoleles as well in the collection. I had a Savannah, 1920 Savannah banjolele beautiful uh, banjo lily that I restored but it was um, intonation for 100 years old it was intonation wasn't very good I've also got a George Formby Dallas B sounds great again very difficult to keep in tune with the friction tuners so I was looking for something else for some of those old timey songs and I thought I'll check out Aklot I've been looking at these and I thought take the plunge get one so I bought this myself and it is it looks beautiful it's absolutely ma maple throughout open back that's a truss rod in there i'll go through that in a minute open back tuners i think that he's at the headstock i love it with the aklot sign there i think it's absolutely stunning dead easy to tune with a, just the open gear tuners dead easy and um it comes with uh, lots of things you get a, a, a brilliant bag banjo lily shape bag with a zipper in which you can keep all the accessories in all the bits in with nice carrying straps on the back and the Aklot sign. You get some spare strings. I'm not sure whether these are Quilla. They look like Aquila strings on it. And you get a spare set as well. You get a, a bundle of picks, felt tips and plastic picks. So why you'd need these, I'm not too sure because it's loud. But some people like to pick, play with a pick. Get a little adjuster to go into here to adjust it for the action, etc. But the action is set up brilliantly. You, I don't think you'll ever need to use this at all. Um, mind you, you've got these, it also doubles up as a tension. You've got the tension screws here around the edge to tension this, this head. So that end you put into the, the little slots there and you can tension these up if this gets a bit slack. Um, cleaning cloth, <laughs> that'll be rarely used with me. Strange enough, you get a pickup. Let me see that, where that bit there sticks on here and then you can attach it round here and you can put a, 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 a quarter inch jack in. So why you'd want one when it's as loud as that. I played this on stage the other week and it is very, very loud. So I didn't need to use that pickup, but it's that you want. And um, you get a, a tuner and it's a good tuner. It comes, you've just got a, it's a little slide at the back. You slide this up and you put a CR2032, which comes provided with it. You stick that in, that's easy enough. Button at the front, you just click that on. Now this is where you've got to be careful because it's got a lot of different tuners in here. It starts off with that C, and then it goes to a G, tuning G, B tuning, or V. I think the V's for violin. Uh, but the next one's what you want, you see it. It's it's a little UC, I don't know you can see that, but you look for the little UC, ukulele in the, in the tuning of C. And if you click it again, it'll be UD. I think that's to tune your ukulele in the key of D which some people might, I think some of the old timey music used to be that, but do make sure that you um, you click this. You just press the start this on off button till it comes to UC. Stick it on your, whoops, stick it on your uke, on your banjo lily. Now you said ukulele, banjo uke, and then tune it G, C, E, A. It's a good tuner, obviously it goes green when it's on the right, uh, when it's on the right note. So that's dead, it's a good tuner. It's a really good tuner to switch it off. But that's the thing is just make sure it's the setting on it is a t set to UC and then you should be all right. And just hold a click and it goes off. So the yoke itself. Oh, the other thing, very important. It comes, this bridge just comes with it just flat. It's just flat and under the strings. But to, normally what you do is you measure the same distance from the nut, the edge of this nut to your 12th fret and then you go from the 12th fret, the same distance, and that's where you put your bridge. But Aklot, brilliant. They've even included a piece of plastic and you just put that under your strings and you line it up with a nut under your strings. And then at this end where it says bridge, that's where you put the bridge. You just put that in and lift it up. It gets quite tight, but you can do it. Then you can 
keep that to one side somewhere, then you can mark it. Some people just put a little pencil mark on either side, like pencil marks. So if this does ever shift or just collapses at any time, if you're just taking the bridge out, you can easily put it back. Now that's that, it's got, uh, what's it got? Two, four, six, 12 tension rods. It's got this, the only thing I'd say, I mean, this comes in at 77.99. I'll give you a YouTube link. They're normally for 99.99, which I think still is a seriously silly low price. But this all comes for 77.99 at the moment off eBay or Amazon, I think. I'll, I'll put the link below, I'll find it out for you. And it's just great. So what are the sacrifice? Because you get so much. It's beautiful, it looks all chromed. I don't know whether the chrome will go in time. It, it might do, it might just be a thin chrome layer. There's little bits, maybe just little patches there where it might be going. But what do you expect for such a low price? I've got this because, oh, and it's quite heavy. Oh, you get a strap as well. How did I forget about the strap? You get this fantastic strap. <laughs> and if you stood playing it, it's just got these clips that you can clip. You can clip onto these rings, one underneath. Clip it, it's got like these little, like climbing clips, little D clips, clip that there. And then you can clip one uh, wherever is suitable to you. Clip one onto there and stick that round your head. You've got a, a really good wide strap and it's an easy adjustable strap. It's got a adjuster on, it's dead easy. But I'll take that back off. Don't need that on at the moment. Take it off, it's easy on. But that strap is just, it's a really well made strap and I love the flames on it. <laughs> it's great, Red Hot Banjo Lily play. Once it's tuned and I've only had this a few days, the strings are settled down. <laughs> got a lovely tone so what's it like uh, to play brilliant so those old time tunes or country and western tunes sometimes you need a banjo lily you've got this sort of brilliant isn't it picking great and you can play it, try and play it quietly if you want you know or you can work it out of fun so for less than 78 pound but even if you can just pick them up for a hundred pounds these i just think are absolutely stunning to look at yes it's heavier than normal you it's bound to be um but you've got the strap if you stood up and the strap's brilliant so easy to tune i love the fact that it's gear tuners and the good gear tuners as well um they seem to hold the tune and the tuning and just get one <laughs> Just get one and have some fun and uh, pick a, pick your banjo lily on the porch and have some fun. Anyway, if there's any other questions, I'll put some links below with the, um, oh, and it's got, it's got obviously, what's it got? 12, 15, 18 frets, 18 frets, quite a lot. It's a concert size and it's got the side markers on, on here as well. I like this star on the fifth fret. I think that's dead. I think that's really cool. Everything about it is just different and really cool. I'm in love with it. Absolutely love it. But I'll put the links below. And if you've got any questions about anything, I'm bound to have missed something out, um, then just do let me know. And bye for now. Love you and leave you and do have fun.